welcome to all in this lecture number 23 of module 3 that is program for ensuring health if you remember in the last lecture we talked about the health what is health what is the role of the self for ensuring health so in last lecture we talked about the coexistence of the self and body their needs their activities and we understood that the need of the self is continuous in time and need of the body is temporary in time. Then we talked about the feeling of self-regulation which is required for ensuring health. And then we talked about specifically health in the last lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to study the programs which are required for ensuring the health of our body. So let's move. So for ensuring this program for body, some understanding about the body in the self is required. So as we discussed in the last chapter that the whole body is a self-organized unit. The whole body is naturally in harmony. In fact, not the whole body, each and every cell of the body, each and every organ of the body is working as a self-organized unit and are in harmony, in complementarity to each other. So each and every part, each and every organ of the body is working for ensuring the harmony of the whole body. So once the self has right understanding in itself, then the self is able to see this harmony in the body. Then the self has responsibility to ensure the continuity of this harmony. So with the right understanding in the self, with the understanding that the body is an instrument the self has the feeling of responsibility for ensuring the health of the body in continuity or at least self should take responsibility to not disturb the harmony which is naturally exist in the body. So if the self has enough right understanding, if the self has this feeling, then self is able to ensure the continuity of the health in the body. So the self has a feeling of responsibility towards the body. So with the feeling of this responsibility, the self knows what is required for fulfilling that responsibility to ensure the health in the body. So with this feeling of responsibility, which comes with right understanding, right feeling, with the knowledge of self and body, with exploration, the self is able to feel this responsibility towards the body. If the self has this understanding towards the body, then body becomes healthy. So feeling of responsibility is required. Feeling of self-regulation is required for the body to keep it healthy. With this, we can discuss about programs which actually keeps our body healthy. So let's see. So these are the programs which are required to keep our body healthy. So first is intake and daily routine. So proper discrimination of intake, what is required for the healthy body is required. So intake and daily routine is an important part to keep our body healthy. So we will discuss it in coming slides. In this slide, I am just giving an overview of the whole program. And in coming slide, we will discuss it one by one. Then labor and exercise. So first priority is intake should be good. Then our lifestyle, daily routine should match with nature cycle. Then labor and exercise is required and in fact labor is required 
to keep our body healthy. Then when we are not doing any labor, we can think of right postures which regulates internal and external body organs and regulated breath. Then for bringing the harmony of body back from temporary disharmony, medicines is required. And last dependency of drug machine, uh, drug or machine to perform proper body functions is required. So if you see, this is the last option. So if the self has right understanding, if the self has feeling of self-regulation, then the self will take it as a last responsibility, last option in the life. So with good and right understanding, the self will take care of intake, will take care of its daily routine, daily lifestyle. So the dependency or drugs or machine is the last option. So if you uh, see the present state of the society, somehow it has become a part of our daily life that we have become so dependent on medicines, drugs. In fact, we are preparing not to get any diseased. We are not preparing ourselves for a healthy body. If we keep the healthy body in the priority, then we will follow up this priority order. So first is intake and daily routine, and then labor and exercise, then posture, then to cure any disharmony, medicines are required and this is the last option. So you can take pause for two minutes, ask yourself what priority order are you following in your life. You are aware about intake and daily routine, labor, exercise or you are dependent on this drugs, medicines, machines, etc. So this you have to explore. So let's explore one by one. First we are going to discuss about intake. So when we talk about intake, intake includes all that we absorb through all the senses, all the body organs like air, water, sunlight, food, etc. So intake includes all the absorb, all the thing that we absorb through all the senses. Intake is not only about the food or water. Intake is about all the things which the body absorb through its environment like air, water, sunlight, etc. So also thoughts in response to outside even and circumstances is also required. So when we are taking food, when we are absorbing these things, our thoughts also impacts our body. So for a healthy body, it is important to keep our thoughts in harmony. So to maintain health, what is required? Fiber rich food that is nutritious, digestible, tasty and digested, wasted is excretable. So it is very important thing to be noted. If we take care only the intake, if we take care only the intake while taking food, if we are aware about our food only, then most of the problem of the body get resolved. So when we are in taking the food, we should take care the food is fiber rich or not. It should be nutritious. It should be digestible. And the it should be excretable. It is very first important step while taking food. So ask yourself, you can observe your food and evaluate your food whether it is fiber rich or not, nutritious or not, it is digestible, 
it is executable or not you can make a list of your food and evaluate that if the food is fiber rich then it helps in digestion and it is also easily excretable if the food is not fiber rich food then the excretion becomes difficult and it creates lot of diseases in the body so awareness of the other intake through our senses especially while eating that is being aware of how much to eat it is an again important point when you take food when you are choosing your food are you aware how much you have to eat so if you pay a little attention on the stomach while taking your food you get enough signal from the body that tells you about the quantity but if you are indulged somewhere else while taking food watching mobile indulge in television indulge in talking so you are not able to receive the signals from the body and many times you overeat many times you are not able to sense whether our stomach is full or not so this awareness is very important otherwise overeating may create many problems in your body so like fat is one of those problems if you are overeating fat becomes part of your life so with awareness of this quantity of food choice of food is also important so if you are aware you will take care the food number 1 number 2 about the quantity how much you have to eat this you have to assess and it can be done only if you are aware while taking your food rather than watching tv or going with others while eating so if you observe around yourself many people get involved in watching tv in watching mobile while taking food so what happens if we indulge in this kind of activity while taking food so the signals we get from our body that our stomach is full is not received by the self because self is engaged somewhere else so taking food with awareness is also an important event then daily exposure to fresh air and sunlight and so on so it is also important that we should get fresh air we should get enough sunlight all these are intake for our body so if we are in a house that is closed from everywhere there is no provision of sunlight no provision of fresh air then our body gets diseased so to maintain health it should be taken care that our structure of home should be such that so that fresh air and sunlight come in our house so let's sum up uh, let's me sum up this whole slide so we are talking about intake so intake includes all the the things we absorb our body absorb through the senses through our body organs so when we are talking about intake we are not only talking about the food we are talking about air water sunlight along with food etc so to maintain health one important point is we should take care while choosing our food whether it is fiber rich or not it should be nutritious it should be tasty it should be digestible it should be easily excretable if we take care this intake many of the problems of the body get resolved so if we take care of this food then it helps to keep our body in harmony then awareness of other 
intake through our senses and another important point is we should take care of our we should keep pay our attention towards the body when taking food we should not get indulged in watching tv or going with others while taking food and along with this daily exposure to fresh air and sunlight is also required so let's move towards the daily routine so here it is circadian rhythm it is a cycle which is in harmony with nature if we follow this cycle our body becomes healthy our body be in state of health so if you see around 6 am so 4 to 6 we should wake up and this 6 to 10 there is a timing of breakfast so with in the presence of sunlight we should take our breakfast and before the sun rise we should get off our bread bed so with this we can see that between 10 to 10 am to 2 pm there is a strong agni arises in our body it means our body is ready to digest to absorb the food so the lunch time should be around 12 pm 12 to 1 pm if we follow this schedule the body is in a state of absorbing the food the food is digested in this time period easily then 2 to 6 pm time is for absorptions and assimilation so during this period of time body absorbs the nutrition all the required things from the uh, from the food and then 6 to 10 pm so 6 to 8 pm there is a dinner time and then 10 pm is a around 10 pm there is a bed time and after this 10 am we can have a deep sleep and after 12 am the liver gets activate and it detox the whole body and repair the whole body repair the cells damaged cells etc so this is how the whole circadian rhythm works so for keeping our body healthy we should follow this circadian rhythm and now you can take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself whether you are following the cycle or not so there is a relation of sun earth with our body so this is how our body works with the sunlight so if we follow this cycle our body gets healthy so this is about our lifestyle so if we follow this lifestyle if we follow this cycle so our body naturally gets healthy so you can evaluate your lifestyle whether you are your lifestyle matches with this cycle or not then is liver so when do labor with rest of nature it ensures sufficient movement of the body plus it also produces some production through physical facility so labor is also an important part of daily routine so if we interact with nature if we work with nature we do labor so first the required movement naturally happens during the process of labor and in return we get some physical facility that is production so we have to take care whether we are doing labor enough labor in our life or not so labor should be a integral part of our daily life so in fact at homes you can find out many ways to ensure this labor from your side 
for example sweeping and dusting your room house hostel it ensures your movement of the body then you can use cycling if your college is nearby so if you use cycle for traveling then your body gets enough movement then you may invest your time in kitchen gardening you can interact with nature you can plant some vegetables so in this manner you will ensure labor and you will also get some physical facility in return similarly producing things of our daily use which may include grain milk biscuits etc so all these things can be done easily in your house so again you take pause for 2 minutes and see what can you do around your house find out the ways to ensure labor on the daily basis make a list and evaluate what can you do, uh, do easily in the form of labor so if you include all these things or some of these things according to your convenience it will ensure labor which is actually required for a healthy body then exercise postures and breathing so exercise basically ensure adequate movement of the body so for example you do jogging cycling in fresh air all these things is required to ensure adequate movements of the body and for regulating internal and external body organs there is a need for proper postures so for example yoga sun you may do yoga where you can keep your body in the right postures so that the harmony between internal and external body becomes smooth all these things can be ensured in house similarly regulated breathing ensure fresh oxygen in every part of the body so you can do pranayam so with the help of pranayam you can ensure fresh oxygen in every part of your body so along with this intake and daily life we should include this in our lifestyle so exercise posture regulated breathing all these things are required for a healthy life so if your breath is good it means the oxygen is reached each and every part of the body which helps the body in functioning in a proper manner so breathing is required for that you may make a program like pranayam similarly right postures are required when you sit when you stand what is your posture it matters for the health of the body when you eat in what postures you are eating your food it is required when you are drinking water what is your postures it it all these things should be known to us for a healthy life so if you are following if you are including all this in your daily routine it helps you to keep your body healthy then the medicine so if anyhow your body is not in harmony temporarily then to bring out that harmony back from temporary disharmony you can take medicine in fact many of the home remedies are available which may help you to move from temporary disharmony to harmony so you should be aware what kind of home remedies are available how home remedies are helpful to keep our body healthy all this knowledge is also required then last is treatment
so if our body is not healthy then the last options are this insulin dialysis etc but if we ensure this intake daily routine labor exercise in our daily life in life style then there is very less need to depend on this treatment that's why the correct priority order of this program for ensuring health is required so if i reevaluate the whole program it can be said that first is the intake we should be aware when we take food when we choose food for our body in fact not only the food about air about water whatever is being absorbed by the body we should aware of that if we are aware at the level of intake so there is a very less possibility that we go for all this treatment so intake and daily routine may solve most of the health problems so good intake and daily routine will ensure the health of your body and there is very less possibility to get dependent on this medicine or machine etc so this is first priority intake and daily routine then we should include labor in our lifestyle then exercise so if we take care of this point number 1 and point number 2 this is enough for keeping our body healthy then the postures so again everyone should get knowledge of the postures what are the right postures postures required for the healthy body so each and every one should get this kind of education where education about intake daily routine labor exercise postures should be given to each and every student if we ensure these in our education system then day by day there will be improvement in the body of students health of the student so in the absence of this kind of education most of member of our society have dependent on this medicine and treatment which is actually now a part of our lifestyle so we have to move from this to this so let's sum up the whole thing so we are talking about the program for fulfillment of the health of the body so number one feeling of self regulation is required in the self it is very important because all these programs can be made with the feeling of self regulation if there is no feeling of self regulation then it becomes very difficult to keep our body healthy that's why the self feeling of self regulation is required at the level of self so if there is a right understanding right feeling in the self there is a feeling of coexistence of the self and body then self is able to ensure this feeling of self regulation which is actually helpful to ensure health of the body so with this feeling of self regulation the right programs are intake daily routine so with the feeling of self regulation the self gets aware about the intake then daily routine then self ensure labor exercise and then balancing internal and external organ through pranayam breathing then last is medicine and treatment and when we are talking about medicine you should go for home remedies first so with the feeling of self regulation in the self all these programs can be made the self and the body are in harmony when there is a feeling of self regulation in the self and health in the body so as a individual we 
become in harmony if there is a feeling of self regulation in the cell and there is a health in the body so self regulation as we talked about feeling of responsibility towards the body for nurturing protection and regulation of the body so when the self knows that the body is an instrument i am doer seer and enjoyer then self has a feeling of responsibility for nurturing protection and regulation of the body so if the feeling of self regulation is in the self then the body acts according to the self and all parts of the body are in harmony so outcome is health so thank you very much that's all from my side so in this lecture we discussed about the program for ensuring health in next lecture we will talk about the policies about the health policies and system about the health so that's all from my side thank you very much let's meet in the next lecture have a great day thank you very much